Can you tell the, the fans a little bit more about the story behind uh, 3D Dream Drop Distance and uh, kind of how that fits into the whole Kingdom Hearts series? Um, Kingdom Hearts 3D takes um, part right after uh, Kingdom Hearts Recoded and it centers on uh, Sora and Riku um, taking the Mark of Mastery exam. Yensid um, calls on uh, Sora and Riku and he wants them to become Keyblade Masters so he, they, they go on a quest a journey to become Keyblade Masters um, into these uh, worlds of sleep, worlds of dream, and they go around opening uh, keyholes for each uh, world. So this is the first Kingdom Hearts game to, to be on the 3DS. I mean, we, we had obviously recoded on the DS, but the 3DS gives us uh, new features, the 3D obviously being the main one. Uh, how has that helped Kingdom Hearts 3D? What role has that played in the game? Well, we really wanted to integrate um, all the 3DS features into the game into a sort of seamless matter, manner. Um, for example, the bottom view, the touch screen, we really wanted to use that into the battle system. Nomura said he wanted to use that uh, not just as a reference point, as a map or something, but something that fits into the battle. And so, for example, um, when you use the reality shift system um, in the battle, uh, you could dive into the Sora or Riku dives into the bottom of the screen, and then uh, you could use the touch screen to deal blows, make use special, special abilities that are really unique to each world. For example, Tron, uh, at Tron Legacy World, uh, you get to hack or crack your enemies and can sort of control them. And a lot of words appear. There's sort of program code that appears. If you touch them, you get to control your enemies. Um, for Fantasia, you could play musical notes and then uh, flowers that would bloom and rainbows would appear and sort of changes the whole reality of that world. Um, I guess for the Three Musketeers, there's a comic book that comes uh, on the bottom of the screen and that make, lets you uh, touch the comic book and multi blows to your enemies. So that's what I thought, thought was sort of cool. Also, um, we have a dream sister, a, a dream sis, uh, dream, uh, dream eater system. <laughs> <laughs> dream eater system and what you can do is uh, you could actually pet your dream eaters they're sort of your like your mascot pets and you could feed them using the touch screen and I guess that uh, gives it uh, intimacy with your character I think that they will get attached to his or her uh, dream eater and you, you talked there briefly about um, obviously some brilliant characters both from Disney and we've got uh, Final Fantasy how do you uh, choose I mean we're, we're getting all the all, all our favorites back but how do you choose new characters uh, to feature in the game. I mean, there's so many to, to choose from, right? Well, I guess um, first we come up with the ideas for the world, and then that sort of uh, we fit the characters in, which which, which fits the sort of world. Um, for uh, Traverse Town this time, I normally wanted to use uh, the world with it ends with you characters, and that was sort of a surprise for us. About we didn't really expect that, and uh, so, but it was a good thing because I think we could we were able to bring something new to Traverse Town. We sort of uh, made the made new images for the city, uh, for the maps. For example, a lot of the uh, some of the buildings sort of resembled Shibuya in a way, uh, the fountain, for example, and a lot of graffiti, and they, that gave it a whole new sort of look. I thought that was really fresh. Uh, and are there any characters or worlds that you couldn't fit in or that you'd personally like to see in the future of the Kingdom Hearts series? Um, for Kingdom Hearts 3D, uh, we were planning on doing a Fantasia 2000 and Fantasia at the beginning, beginning of the game, uh, back at the beginning of the production. And, uh, well, for example, we wanted Riku to go to 2000 and Sora to go to fan, uh, fan, the old Fantasia. But at, in the end, we found a lot of good locations in Fantasia. There's a lot of rich content, so we just decided not to concentrate on that. Um, on a personal note, I would really like to make a Pixar world. That would be kind of cool. Toy Story would be amazing, I think. Uh, and you briefly touched on the, the Dream Eaters. Uh, they're, they're pretty much completely new to, to what we've uh, seen before in Kingdom Hearts. Could you give us a good idea of uh, how they feature in the game? What was their inspiration? Because they have quite a, a strong visual style as well. Uh, Nomura first came up with uh, Bao Meow as a sort of dog, cat sort of character, and he just wrote it up uh, in a simple manner. It's really kind of, kind of cool. I thought he was just joking when he first gave it to us. When we made uh, movements, animation, and effects, it was really kind of cool and cute. And um, after that, we sort of got inspired and drew a lot of uh, um, well, bats and uh, rams and all sorts of animals. And I guess the concept, in a way, was for them to be cute with a little twist cute and a little twisted at the, uh, so it's not really uh, but well it's kind of they have a lot of character in them I think um, some of them look lazy some of them look really angry I think there's a lot of uh, character uh, personality behind each of the character and obviously this is this is a long-running franchise um, we've got some really you know hardcore fans that have been from from the start uh, how how are you hoping to 
uh, see them react once they've finished the game? What's what are they? What are you looking for from an emotional level from your fans once they've finished 3D? Well, at the very end, um, we've added a lot of last bosses battles. So I think, in a way, I think they feel a lot of success. Uh, the feeling of success, and also I guess. Um, Kingdom Hearts 3D really uh, directly connects to Kingdom Hearts 3, so I think there should be a feeling of maybe anticipation, I think, for the future, I guess. Um, Kingdom Hearts 3D really connects the past and the future of Kingdom Hearts, um, so I, you, I don't, you don't want to miss it. Has fan feedback played any kind of role into the Kingdom Hearts series? Um, how did that affect 3D? Um, I think everything, actually. Um, we're always listening to our fans. I think that's one of the most important things. Um, Choosing of the worlds, for example, um, Notre Dame, um, we sort of chose Notre Dame because a lot of the user input said they wanted that world inside the, um, the game. Um, everything we do, all the actions, all the gameplay, I think uh, is from our experiences are from past games. What the user comments, uh, what the user said on previous Kingdom Hearts games, uh, we sort of adjust it each time. So in a way, I think that's really important. And uh, I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to uh, hearing a lot of the comments for Kingdom Hearts 3D.